someone brought up that I referenced Margaret Murray. Not exactly a reliable source, is it? So, yeah, Margaret Murray, as well as many other old historians nowadays, are not considered reliable fact lists of facts in a book like uh today's current textbooks written in the last five to ten years are or or the main influential classics that don't have a flaw a lot of historians back then were writing books looking into history and the, the historical record uh, even then people were piecing together so much more than like even now and look at how much we're piecing together now about the historical record so Margaret Murray in her book was simply saying that she suspected that there was something something involving pre-Christian religious belief or spiritual belief surviving within the witch persecutions, whether that's their mythology or their practice. That's all she was saying. And then she went through and expounded upon all these little pieces of evidence she found that supported her theory. That doesn't mean every single thing she wrote was true. She was bringing it up. The witch persecutions at that time were uh, only talked about during the witch persecutions by uh, Christian men who were doing the torturing and the convicting. It wasn't until uh, Margaret Murray, a successful female anthropologist brought up the question that people started going back and reconsidering things about uh, the witch trials. And as soon as she put out those uh, books with her, with her viewpoints, she was, instead of uh, debated, uh, ridiculed, denounced, and slandered, and tossed in the trash. And the uh, white Christian men who are the head of the anthropology departments at every university, not every university, are still under that exact same paradigm. And history is written by the winner. There's more to the story.